You're watching Shavers Insider, guys, and this month we had the privilege of catching up with Christie's, that's the world's leading art business. They marked their 250th anniversary with an auction here in Dubai, a curated sale offering 113 works of modern and contemporary art from across the region. Take a look. Celebrating heritage, taste and 250 years of art, Christie's is the oldest fine art auction house in the world. James Christie pioneered auctions in London back in 1766 and here in Dubai the house brings together artists, patrons and collectors to convene around art. We're very happy to be celebrating continuous celebration that we started last March and we have uh, I think under one roof some beautiful examples of this art movement that stretches over a hundred years so we have around 113 works of art uh, that covers the modernism and the contemporary scene in the artistic production in Iran and the Arab world. Also celebrating 10 years Christie's Dubai, the platform has now hosted 690 artists and 3,000 works of art. This auction preview showcased a range of modern and contemporary Arab, Iranian and Turkish art, a carefully curated collection with a pre-sale estimate of $4 million. Featured lots include Christie's Beyond the Fountain, pioneers of Sakahani grouping of 19 works. These were acquired directly from the artists credited for shaping the movement in Iran in the 1960s. It was the first uh, movement that documented at the time the um, reality of you know, the cultural heritage of Iran. So it's still one of the greatest foundations for the art that came after. So artists today are still inspired by the great body of work that was done during the Sakakhani under the people of like Parviz Tanavali or Farmer's Pilaram, and we have amazing examples by these two. Modern Masters includes the paintings of Lebanese artist Shafiq Aboud, who explores themes of birds and connotations of freedom. Alongside regional contemporary art pioneer Farhad Moshiris, whose canvas to flamingos is crafted using tiny wedding cakes. And further focusing on artistic discovery, Christie's also represents new artists to the auction circuit with a selection of photography. Moving on to the art of timepieces, the Watches Auction offered 146 lots with a pre-sale estimate of around 4.5 million US dollars. The sale also marked the 40th anniversary of the famous Nautilus model by Patek Philippe. 40% vintage timepieces and 60% modern, it's a rare opportunity to view or even acquire. But what are the buying trends for stylish clock watches in the region? Dubai is really known for two things, uh, a growing trend in vintage, um, our offering this time is close to 50% vintage um, and this is matching the international trend uh, where globalization of uh, good taste uh, is matching vintage, not only in, the, in watchmaking, in handbags, in cars, furniture as well uh, and vintage is really a growing trend on the last five years. Well Dubai is just matching this trend. Christie's also announced its partnership with the second edition of Dubai Watch Week that's taking place November 15th to 19th, where art, creativity and craftsmanship is explored through the history of time. Really a very romantic industry. I mean, that's what I personally think. I think when you look at the watch sector, it's, it's as old as mankind. You know, we started with the sundial and, and centuries later we've evolved into amazing mechanical movements. Historically, you know, watchmakers or, or innovators have come up with so many different inventions and innovation that has, in essence, you know, influenced other in industries as well, but they've also taken influence from other industries and incorporated that to it. Further linking timepieces and art, two works by Emirati artist Abdul Qadir al Rais were commissioned for the event and proceeds will be donated to the Noor Dubai Foundation. Art meets style and time becomes precious. Christie's auctions feel elite, innovative and somewhat romantic. <laughs> 